Hello everyone, Bon Yuki here with another video and today I'm going to talk about a new item that I picked up uh, straight from China. It is called the Rokid Max AR glasses and I actually bought the Unreal Air glasses before but uh, while it was coming here to the States they actually announced, Rokid uh, announced these glasses and the biggest difference with them was uh, better speakers and most of all, it does 1080p 120 hertz. And with the release of Street Fighter 6 impending, having a 120 hertz mode, having a pair of glasses that does 1080p 120 can come in handy. Um, the real reason I picked these up is because one of the biggest downfalls to the Steam Deck, which I actually pretty much enjoy, it's a pretty good system, is how horrible the screen is. Uh, there's no debating it. It's very objectively sound that the Steam Deck has a bad screen. But when you plug in one of these glasses, now you go from having a bad screen and also um, having to hunch over to play your games or, you know, playing your Steam Deck on a chair. You now just pop these glasses on and everything looks pretty incredible. It's kind of like having a big projector screen on you. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has little holes there. It has the little dial. They call it a diopter so you can make them go back and forth for, you know for the distance of your eyes so people who wear glasses um from the range of six to, to zero they can take their glasses off and actually put them on uh i've been trying these for the last couple of nights i actually tried it in bed uh what's nice about them is once you plug into your phone like this is my work phone here um it's a samsung phone and you could just throw it in there and Dex automatically starts up. So it's kind of like you're running a desktop with two screens because you have the phone and you have your glasses. Or you can actually turn it off and just use it as like a like a screen mirroring. And your phone is like your, your touch input, whereas you can watch your videos. But I, I must say, I'm even though I got the Unreal Airs, I must say these are actually better. Um, the biggest difference from this and the Unreal, Unreal Airs is that these guys, uh, because of the the change in the optics, the bigger field of view, it takes up more of your eye, the, the vision in your eye takes up more of it. So the screen actually looks bigger. Um, and it's an OLED screen. I mean, it's breathtaking. It's like having, they say it's 215 in, 215 inch screen. Yeah, but you're kind of far away. So in reality, it's more like a maybe 120 inch projector screen. Uh, from maybe eight feet away or so. So it's it's big, but it doesn't take up all your vision. Uh, nice thing about it is there's buttons on the side here. Like this one right here determines your volume because there's two speakers on the inside of the, the actual right here, the stems. There's actually speakers like a speaker here and a speaker there, and they sound pretty good. There's some bass to it. It's not a tinny sound, but... Um, for those of you who want like really hardcore noise canceling headphones are going to be the best option. Um, and the thing about it is it's really nice because you just plug in a type C cable on one end and you type, you plug it in to like your device, in this case, the steam deck on the other end. So now as you see, I'm updating King of fighters, but when I plug it in, the deck just sees it as a, an alternate display and it goes right to this. Um, because this is OLED, it has much better motion blur. That's one thing I hate about the deck is that there is ghosting. The colors are pretty poor. Uh, versus this guy that has full 100% sRGB. Um, it does go up to 600 nits. It does have HTCP. Like I said, it's OLED, so it's going to look really, really good. And the colors are there, the contrast is there, the motion blur is there, and it's 120 hertz. I don't expect to push 120 hertz out of the deck, but I do have other devices, and that's where this guy comes in. This, believe it or not, is a USB-C USB -C from HDMI. So this converts HDMI to USB-C, so you get your audio and everything. Um, I've tried this on my laptop. Uh, my laptop does have the dp alt mode over usb-c the thing is on my laptop i found that if i do that i'm going through the intel because it's thunderbird so i go through the intel gpu and then i have to deal with like nvidia optimus and its performance hit but if i connect it with my hdmi it's connecting directly to my nvidia gpu and now i 
basically sidestep Optimus and get full performance. And inside my laptop is like an RTX 3060 mobile. So it can handle 1080p, 120 hertz, no problem. Um, another thing I want to say about these guys, they feel pretty comfortable. Um, these are the like case case you can actually put on to like black out the screen. Um, I don't plan on taking this off. I don't care about augmented reality. I just wanted something to like have when I go on these, you know, trips that I go to or when I go to work and I'm on my lunch break and I want to do like uh, a little gaming on my deck. I'll bring these guys with me and I can just put these on and I'm in my work van and I can play, you know, games for like an hour and try to be immersed in it with the audio and the video. But these things are definitely well worth the money. Uh, they were originally $430, but because I got a promo code from uh, another website, that knocked it $20. Then I got uh, a rebate because I was one of the first 500 to get it. That was another $25 off. So it's definitely worth it. This adapter, which allows you to connect the consoles, because I do have an Xbox Series X and I do have these laptops, basically HDMI devices, this was another $30 and uh, it's pretty good. So what I plan on doing is, in order to do this powered with the deck, I'll probably do something like, um, you know, I'll get 4K60 out of here and I'll just do this with this. And now that gives me USBs, I can connect the controller and look, I got a portable Street Fighter VI King of Fighter station um, with really, really good uh, optics. And another thing I'd like to say is I don't know the, what the input delay on the Steam Deck is, but I definitely can tell that this has lower lag than the Steam Deck. Um, people are going to ask how comfortable are these. They do come with two different nose, nose pads. So here's one right here. I just went with the default. Uh, I don't have like a big schnoz or anything, or at least I don't think I do. But um, it's pretty comfortable as is, and um, I don't know, I just like these a lot. Uh, I liked the Unreal, Unreal Air, but the fact that these have a bigger image, and of course you get double the refresh rate. Uh, you can watch 3D videos. There's a button you just hold on the side for three seconds, and you can watch 3D videos. Um, it just it looks incredible because even though it's only 1080p, because the, I guess the screen are so small. You don't really, I mean, I could see the pixel grid, but it's not really noticeable when you're playing a game. Definitely not. Not even when you're watching videos. It's kind of like looking at your phone really, really up close. So, um, well worth the money. I would buy them again. And it transforms the Steam Deck from something that's a pretty decent handheld with moderate power, with powerful screen, to, hey, now I have something that looks great. And another thing for me is when I'm playing the deck, it's pretty big. It's a big, it's a big handheld. So I kind of struggle holding my hands up high to keep my neck straight, or I have to look down and look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. I, I've got friends with the the what I call it the gamer lean, where they like look like they got humped over. I don't want to be like that. So with the glasses, basically I just pop this in my lap and I'm playing in my lap, but I'm looking straight ahead with the glasses on. And it gives you much better posture and whatnot. So I think for health benefits, this is great too. But uh, yeah, folks, I mean, it's a great device. If you guys got any questions or heck, if you have any tips, it's pretty simple. You just plug it in. I mean, I wish I could show you guys what it looks like uh, through the camera here. But I don't I don't think the camera is going to pick the image up. I'm, I'm trying here, but it, it doesn't. Nah, it just doesn't. It doesn't work. I mean, you guys can kind of see it. You can see it's kind of there, but it's, it's really not. So... But uh, yeah, these are beautiful glasses. I mean, I like them. My girlfriend tried them out. She even she was like, "Hey, this looks this is a lot better than watching things on a phone." And I'm like, "Yeah, I tried these in bed the other night, um, just watching some videos on YouTube." And um, like I said, I got my personal phone is Samsung, and my my work phone is Samsung. Dex comes right up, and it's it's like having two screens. It's actually pretty nice. So. But if anyone, like I said, has comments or any questions about them or how they connect up, um, it's pretty for straightforward. I had no issues. I didn't even look at the instructions. You just plug them in and they work. And uh, there's no batteries to them. That keeps them nice and light. So they are sipping power from the Steam Deck. Uh, the people at Rokit said it takes about 2 watts of power. So you are make sure your Steam Deck is charged up. But uh, it probably takes less power uh, doing this than it does from that. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, once again, hit me up. Thank you.